U.S. Navy's new $13 billion ship that can launch a war in minutes. Somewhere beyond the horizon, slicing through the Atlantic like a steel leviathan, sails a war machine so powerful, so advanced, it's been called the most dangerous object ever put to sea. A vessel that doesn't just patrol waters, it dominates them. That doesn't just respond to conflict, it ends it before it begins. Its cost? $13 billion. Its name? USS Gerald R. Ford. And it can launch a full-scale war in mere minutes. This is not science fiction. This is now. And it changes everything. When the USS Gerald R. Ford emerges from the mist, nations take notice. The sheer size of it is almost surreal. More than 1,100 feet of steel towering 20 stories above the waterline, the capacity to house an air wing capable of reducing a small nation to rubble. This is not just a ship. It's a message. And a very loud one. But the most terrifying thing about it, you'll never see it coming. It starts with a shimmer on the radar. A silhouette distant but steady, creeping closer across the vast indifferent ocean. No sirens blare. No alarm bells ring. There is no dramatic buildup, only the silence and precision of decisions made behind sealed doors in a command center where the lighting is dim, the voice is calm, and the stakes sky high. In that room, plans unfold with mathematical coldness. Coordinates are marked. Timetables are measured in seconds. The order is given. Then, without warning, the giant awakens. The deck of the ship surges to life. There is no steam, no grinding metal, just the eerie quiet hum of the future. The electromagnetic aircraft launch system EDEM ALA is coming online. Magnetic coils charge silently, then unleash with a jolt of invisible force. A jet is thrown into the sky with surgical elegance. The deck becomes a whirlwind of motion. Fighter jets scream into the air one by one, each loaded, each given a purpose. Sailors, some barely out of high school, guide the chaos like seasoned generals. Every takeoff, every signal, every missile ready to fly. In mere minutes, the sky is full and war has already begun. In a matter of moments, war has begun. The Ford was built for this moment, designed to operate under extreme tension and to deliver force with terrifying speed. Its nuclear-powered engines mean it doesn't need fuel, not for itself, not for decades. It can remain at sea, silent and watchful for over 20 years without ever refueling. It is a weapon of persistence. It doesn't flinch. It doesn't blink. It waits. But the story of how it came to be, that's where the real thrill lies. When the idea for the U.S. Gerald R. Ford was first proposed, it sounded like something out of a futuristic war novel. Magnetic launch systems. Automated elevators to ferry bombs and missiles below deck in seconds. A radar system so advanced it can track a swarm of incoming drones while guiding fighter jets to precision strikes hundreds of miles away. A deck layout so refined it allows for faster launches, quicker recoveries, and tighter turnarounds. And yet, it almost didn't happen. The cost ballooned. $13 billion. Critics scoffed, skeptics groaned, delays mounted. Problems with the electromagnetic catapults. Failures with the arresting gear that's meant to safely land aircraft. Weapons elevators that simply refused to work as designed. There were moments when the Ford seemed like a floating disaster. A $13 billion monument to good intentions gone bad. But the Navy didn't back down. It fixed the problems, rebuilt systems, retested every inch. They weren't just building a ship. They were sculpting the future. And then, finally, it happened. The Ford became operational, and everything changed. The first time the Ford sailed into the Mediterranean, the world took a breath. Russian warships turned. Chinese satellites zoomed in. Every naval commander in the world updated their threat matrix. Because now there was something new in the water. Not just a deterrent, an apex predator. Every detail of this ship was crafted for rapid warfare. Its cutting-edge electromagnetic aircraft launch system can send aircraft into the sky 25% faster than any carrier before it, reducing strain on the airframes while improving launch efficiency. Its flight decks, spacious, uncluttered, and strategically re-engineered, allows for smoother operations, more simultaneous takeoffs and landings, and higher mission tempo. With a full air wing of F-18 Super Hornets, F-35 Cs, rollers, and helicopters, the Ford can project overwhelming force hundreds of miles inland without ever entering enemy waters. This isn't just power, it's precision, speed, and adaptability rolled into one floating fortress. But it's not just about what the Ford can do today. It's about what it's built to do tomorrow. This ship was engineered with the future in mind, prepared for weapons that haven't yet reached the battlefield. Rail guns that fire projectiles at max speeds, hypersonic missiles capable of evading modern defenses, AI-controlled drone swarms, and high-powered lasers that never run out of ammo. 
With two nuclear reactors generating more power than it currently needs, the Ford isn't just prepared for future warfare, it's inviting it. This is not an upgrade, it's a quantum leap, a radical transformation of naval dominance built to control tomorrow's battlefield today. And perhaps the most chilling part is how quietly it can do it. No public declarations, no politicians shouting at podiums, just the Ford sliding into contested waters, silent and massive, casting a shadow over everything. In the age of cyber attacks and digital espionage, it's tempting to think conventional warfare is dead. That ships like these are relics. But that illusion fades the moment the Ford appears off a coastline, bristling with F-35 stealth fighters, B-2D hockeys, and helicopters capable of rescue, reconnaissance, and assault. This ship is more than a battlefield. It's a command center, a humanitarian hub, and a show of force all rolled into one. And it's not alone. The Ford is the first of an entire class of carriers, 10 ships in total, each one carrying the torch into a future that is increasingly volatile. As tensions rise in the South China Sea, as alliances fray and flashpoints ignite, as technology races ahead of politics, the Ford doesn't wait. It sails. Ask anyone aboard, and they'll tell you life on the Ford isn't easy. It's pressure 24 7 constant training, constant readiness. Young sailors working 16 hour shifts in scorching sun, freezing nights, and churning seas. They live in a world of controlled chaos, of drills and discipline. Every button they push, every lever they pull, could decide the course of a mission. But they carry that weight with pride, because they know what this ship stands for. They know what it can do. It's not about starting wars. It's about preventing them. Because when this ship shows up, the world pays attention. And sometimes, that's enough. Other times it isn't. And that's when the Gerald R. Ford shows what it's really made of. Planes launching in perfect intervals. Missiles armed and ready. Communications relayed across half the globe. It's a performance of destruction, precise and terrible, designed to overwhelm before the enemy even knows what's happening. This isn't war as we used to know it. This is orchestration, choreography, a dance of power on a scale too big for most to comprehend. And yet, it's real. It's moving right now somewhere beyond the horizon. A 100,000 ton ghost with the firepower of a nation. They said aircraft carriers were too slow, too old, too vulnerable in the age of satellites and missiles. They were wrong. The Ford is not slow. It is relentless. It is not old. It is ahead of its time. And it is not vulnerable. It is a fortress. In a theater of war, it plays every role, actor, stage, audience, and judge. And it can decide the outcome before the first act even begins. So the next time you look out over the ocean and see nothing but waves, remember, somewhere out there is a ship that could change the course of history in minutes. $13 billion. One crew. A mission that never sleeps. And a future that sails on steel wings. Fade out. The screen goes black. The final phrase appears in silence. Gerald R. Ford. The warship that changed everything.